Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, we have the Hermit Virgo energy coming through. Your person showing up as the Death card Scorpio energy. They're viewing you as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What you're not seeing is the Strength card. Lots of major arcanas coming through, Leo, and this is yours in particular. And the Lover's card, Final Outcome Advice. And we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel here with the Hermit card, you may have a secret admirer. Um, it could be someone that you haven't talked to or that you're on a break from, um, but it could also just be somebody who's completely brand new. Now, what I'm seeing here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Strength card both showing up in reverse and the Nine of Wands, Leos, you've been through something recently. Now, it could be that you lost a job, an investment didn't pan out. It could also be a divorce or separation, but this person knows all about that. Now, for some of you, maybe this has to do with them. But for others of you, this is somebody who's watching you, somebody who's paying attention to how you're feeling, what's going on with you, maybe asking friends and family, or maybe even asking you directly, like a friend that wants to be more. But with the Hermit card, we have Virgo energy, the Death card, Scorpio energy, the Strength card. I feel like this is your energy. I mean, it is the Major Arcana for Leo energy, but I feel like this person, they're kind of they might be building up the strength and the courage to ask you out or come towards you. Um, and I do feel that they're just a little bit worried about timing, like whether or not you're ready or whether or not you're available, um, because it does look like they know you've been going through something kind of tough, like some sort of major life change. You know, like I said, um, an investment that didn't work out, a loss of a job. Um, it could also be, you know, a breakup. And for some of you, it may be with this person, right? They're very directly involved in that. So with the full energy in reverse, we have Aries energy. I do feel like your person, they don't want to come off as foolish or impulsive because the opposite of that is the hermit energy. So it's like they're looking at all the details. I feel like they're holding back. Um, I feel you have somebody quite spiritual on your hands. Again, maybe a Virgo or a Scorpio, a Leo, a Gemini, an Aries, but they don't want to rush into things. Um, this person definitely wants victory and, and they feel like, it's like they're watching and they almost feel like the timing isn't quite right here, Leo, just yet. And the judgment card. Wow. Yeah, see, they're using their best judgment. They don't want to rush into things. They don't want to come off as foolish. This is somebody that really, really wants victory with you. So they're showing up as the death card, Scorpio energy. So this is somebody that wants to transform your connection. Um, this is somebody who's deep. I'm hearing that they're seductive. Um, I feel like they're, they're, they may be a bit secretive or mysterious, um, but they're very creative. And this is somebody who, when they're in a relationship, they're ride or die, Leo. They're very focused on whatever it is that, you know, whoever they're with or whatever it is they're doing. I do think, I feel this person is quite successful here with the world card. I also feel your person has been through, you know, possibly some major transition or transformation in their life. So again, it could be a move, it could be just a milestone that they've experienced, um, it could be that they've healed or left a relationship, but I do feel they're quite high vibrational. Wow, and this person is showing up as your divine masculine. So with this Aries, this emperor energy, they're quite strong. Um, this person is... Um, this person is decisive. They're strategic. I feel like this is somebody who is just, you know, they've got their, you know, what together. And again, they might do quite well for themselves as well is what I'm getting, but they're seeing you as the nine of pentacles, which is beautiful. So they know you've been through something here, Leo, but they're seeing you as this pre empress energy, somebody who's got it together, somebody who's beautiful, somebody who's working hard. Okay. So why do we have the 10 of pentacles here? All right, we have the tower. Wow, you have shocked the you-know-what out of this person, Leo. You're a game changer for them. You may have come into their life, 
you know, surprisingly or unexpectedly. Um, you know, you might also just have shifted the way they view love and relationships. They might also be shocked to hear that you're, you're divorced or you're single. They can't believe it. Either they've been waiting for that to happen or hoping for that to happen again. Not that they were wishing you ill, but you know, it could be that they've found out that you're recently single or you're moving back or, you know, something about you has really surprised them. Um, and, and I think it's in a very good way something positive and yeah, 10 of pentacles in reverse, most likely a divorce. Okay. But this person's very happy that you're single or this person's very happy that you're available. Again, maybe there's something that didn't work out and you're moving back to where they are, or you're moving, you're coming back to the job that you two share, something like that. So the strength card energy in reverse tells me this person's still a little bit wish-washy. This, um, not about how they feel. This emperor is somebody who likes who, or wants victory and they, they like to do things the right way. And when they're feeling really confident that they're going to be successful. So I do feel like this person, again, this, they're building up strength and courage, or they're just waiting. They're strategizing more than anything. Now it is also possible. This person feels foolish about something that's happened between you and them in the past. So I feel like they're really like bound and determined to make sure that you see them as this emperor energy. This person spends a lot of time wondering about you, checking you out online, trying to get as much detail about you as possible. Um, the seven of cups also tells me too, they could be checking to see if you have other options. I do feel this person probably gets a lot of attention. Yeah, we have double sevens showing up, which is a powerful number sequence. It's an angelic number. It's a very spiritual number about guidance and being surrounded by, you know, angels and guides and being brought together. But I do think this person is currently kind of hiding their feelings from you, or maybe you just don't have any idea how they feel about you. Um, because like I said, this person doesn't want to come off foolish. They have a strong ego. I'm not going to lie. They definitely have a strong ego here, Leo, but... I feel like, again, this is somebody they just, they don't want you, they want you to see them as this emperor, somebody who's strong, courageous, accomplished, somebody who's there for you. Because I also feel they admire you and they know that you kind of need that at this point um, or that's something that you're very attracted to. So the lover's card tells me this is a really strong connection. All right. And we have the death card that's that's about to transform and we see the hierophant. It's going to be very different than what you're used to. All right. Now, some of you, you know, if you're, if you are in the process of a divorce or separation, this person's coming towards you. They're waiting for the right time to approach you. They're waiting for, you know, things to sort of settle down is what I'm hearing. But with the Hierophant energy in reverse, I, I'm not reading this as you not ending up in a higher level of commitment with this person. I'm seeing this being something completely different, Leo, than you're used to. Spirit saying to let down your guard, the high priestess, trust your intuition. High priestess and hermit energy for me, Leo, is absolutely somebody with secret feelings. This is somebody who's very attracted to you, but they're waiting for the right time. They're waiting for you to heal. And with the hierophant energy in reverse and the world card, you two could be worlds apart. There could be distance between you currently, different city, state, or country. But for vast majority of you, you're just very different from one another, different backgrounds. Um, it could also just be that you know, like this is just, you're a game changer for this person. And I feel like they have that potential for you as well. Major, major transformations. And I feel like they're happy transformations in your love life. I do feel like my Leos, this is somebody who cares for you, that wants to take care of you, protect you, protect the relationship. Um, you know, somebody, I do feel they're quite supportive as well. So advice for you is stand your ground, hold your own power, never give it away. Not everyone is there to support you. Okay. So I feel like my Leos, you are in kind of defensive energy right now, um, because of what you've been going through or what you've gone through. So again, just keep doing you. I, I know you've, I, I'm picking up on you having been through a, a tower moment. And for a lot of you, it has very little or nothing to do with this person. I'm reading their energy around you. And so what you allow will continue. Your boundaries are currently being challenged. So you may learn the art of saying no and remember your power. And for some of you, you're really experiencing a lot of struggles at work, or you're thinking about leaving a job or transitioning, or maybe even leaving a relationship. I feel this person knows that about you. This is somebody who's keeping tabs on you. This is somebody that maybe even you confide in. All right. So I feel like spirit saying, just stay strong, keep doing what feels right for you. You know, have strong boundaries 
and awakening. You're getting to know who you truly are on a soul level. Take things slow as you begin to shift the way you interact with the world around you. Yeah, and I feel that. I feel like there's this major transition. Like you're going through something. It's a guided lesson. We see that with the double sevens coming through here. But I feel like this person is like watching you and you're going to be you're, you're getting on the same energetic level is what I'm hearing. And there is going to be a reason to celebrate here, Leo. So stop finding holes in your success or a reason to undermine it. You deserve to celebrate yourself and your accomplishments. Yeah. And, and I, I feel like there's, there's beautiful success here, beautiful success coming your way. And I, I think this person, like I said, they, they're willing to step up. They want to step up. Um, and they're kind of watching you go through this is what I'm feeling. Or they're by your side even for some of you. So let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? All right. Room service. Uh, do not disturb. Some of you, you travel a lot for work. Maybe it's this person. Again, I'm seeing like mm, conventions. I'm seeing traveling. Um, okay. The cover up. I do feel this person is currently hiding their true feelings for you. All right, and we see together again, but they can't wait to see you or they want to, they want to make this, they want to make this happen for the vast majority of my Leos. I feel like you do know who this person is and both still in love. So you, you both have, or there's this potential for you both to have these really strong feelings for one another. Leo, it feels good. Um, of course, you know, the ultimate decision is going to be up to you. And again, it's important you clean up your side of the street first, because I'm picking up on many of my Leos who you know, your boundaries are being crossed either in a relationship or at work or something. And it's important you stand your ground and you, you do what you need to do. This person admires you for that. Okay. So we see old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So I feel like a lot of my Leos, you may be healing from something for some of you. This could be a relationship that's being healed. Um, but this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And there is interference right now, but I don't feel like it's on your person's side. I feel like there's something that you need to heal or you need to work through or that you are working through. And that might be causing a little bit of a delay here. Okay. And, you know, you might be currently, you know, I'm picking up on this obsession energy. It might be something that you're very, very focused on right now and not realizing this person around you has these strong feelings. Again, I do think that they're hiding it too. Um, because they are waiting for the right time. They don't want to overwhelm you. Um, and again, they may be very low key obsessed with you, but I'm not picking up on it as like a red flag or some sort of negative energy here. Okay. I think there's something here around you coming towards you very shortly. That's worth celebrating. All right, Leos, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Leos. Take care.